Then that next girl comes along, and she's like right on time. Yeah. Guys, yeah. are there males in here? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are killing me, Smalls. All right, so sometimes that happens, and she found my soul splintered into pieces on my bedroom floor. Picked up each piece, examined their merit, then decided to put them back together if only I'd let her. We started with the conversation. She tiptoed around the subtleties of my manhood like an orphan child running around a house that wasn't there. She knew things I didn't know about myself. She coerced my insecurities into uncomfortable positions, forcing them to come together and set themselves ablaze, martyrs of the man I once was. She picked up my chin and made me face her reality. She kissed my lips, shunning my lack of intimacy. She toasted a future I'd given up on years ago. She was the catalyst to a fuse, dim from a past of indiscretion. She was the third day to my Easter, resurrecting my spirit until I was strong enough to walk out of my tomb alone. See, she shared her oxygen with me when she knew I couldn't breathe. Shared her essence in order to provide me with my own. Gave me life like she was my mother in the fall of 1986. She was the stream my blood swam through. A personification of a feeling I thought I was immune to. She reunited my heart with my self-esteem and told them they better start agreeing with one another. So they did. And we did. And us then. For eternity.